everyone! So today I'm going to be doing this panda look because I am pretty much obsessed with pandas. That is definitely not a secret. And I thought it would be cool to do this for Halloween. So I'm going to be showing you the hair, makeup, and outfit that I put together. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off by using my Revlon Color Stay Foundation and I'm going to apply that with a damp sponge just because it makes it easier. You can use a lighter foundation if you want to but I'm just sticking with my regular skin color. And then I am using my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. And this is just going to help everything set and I have really oily skin so this helps reduce shine as well. For brows, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Brow Powder in Brunette, and I'm going to do a bolder brow than I normally would because my eye makeup is going to be really heavy, so it just kind of balances it out. And then I'm going to follow up with my Anastasia Brow Gel, and this is just a clear gel that helps keep my brows in place. Now I'm going to be using my NARS Eye Primer. You can use whatever primer works for you, but this is my personal favorite because I have super oily eyelids and this is the only thing that keeps my eyeshadows in place. Then I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean as a base, and I'm just going to put this all over my lids. And I do recommend using a primer underneath these Jumbo Eye Pencils because they tend to crease pretty easily. Then I'm going to blend out the edge a little bit with a pencil brush, but I'm not going to worry about making it perfect at this point because we'll be coming back to this later. Then I'm going to take my NYX eyeshadow in Stripped, which is a matte black color, and I'm going to pat that all over my lids. And this is going to help set the black bean, and it's also going to make the black very rich and dark. So now it is time to blend, blend, blend again, and I'm not going to worry about making it perfect still, but I do want to get the colors somewhat blended. Then I'm going to take my NARS eyeliner in Via Veneto, which is just a rich black color, and I'm going to line the upper inner rim of my eyes as well as my waterline. Using the same eyeliner, I'm going to line my lower lash line and I'm going to make the line pretty thick and dark and I'm also going to bring it into the inner corner of my eyes. Then I'm going to take a brush and blend out the edge so it looks a little bit more smoky and I'm going to go back to the upper part of my lids and play with those edges a little bit, blend them out. This is the part where you really want to try and make things as perfect as possible. And to get nice clean edges, I like to take a makeup wipe and wrap it around my finger and then I use that to get rid of any imperfections and it just makes the lines really clean. Then I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and I'm going to use my Maybelline The Falsies Flared Mascara. So I'm going to give my lashes a good coating of this and I like using mascara just in general but also before I apply false lashes because I find that it helps the false lashes stay up, it kind of holds them up a little bit. So I'm just doing my bottom lashes right here. And then I'm going to be using the Katy Perry lashes that come in the purple box. And these kind of look furry to me, which is why I chose them because I feel like they go really well with this look. And I'm just going to try and get them as close to my natural lashes as possible. For blush, I'm going to be using Rimmel's Pink Sorbet, which is a current favorite right now. I am just in love with this color because it's so beautiful and adds a really natural flush to the face. For lips, I'm going to be using one of my favorite drugstore lipsticks, which is L'Oreal's Ferris Nude. And this is a beautiful natural lip color that I've used for a while now. And I think this goes with the look very well. So I'm just putting this on, and then I'm going to follow up with my NYX lip gloss in Sugar Pie, which is a really pretty nude color. And I feel like these two colors really complement each other. So just putting that on. And then I'm going to go back to my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean and I'm going to draw on a little panda nose. So that is it for the makeup and now moving into hair. I'm going to use my Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray which is a heat protectant and I'm just going to run that through my hair make sure it's well distributed. And then I'm going to take my Conair 1 inch curling iron and just wrap my hair around that and curl my hair. You can do your hair however you want, I just like doing loose waves. 
After everything's styled, I'm just gonna come in with my Elnet hairspray and give it all a good spritzing so my waves stay in place. So that is it for hair and makeup, and now moving on into the outfit, my little pen outfit that I have on. Um, the first thing is my hat. I found this at a costume shop, and this is really cool because it has like little pocket paws in it, which I thought was awesome. And then my dress is also from a costume store. This is actually a child size costume that fit me, so I decided to go with it. And then I'm wearing my J. Crew pixie pants and some leg warmers, furry leg warmers that I found on Amazon. And then my flats that I'm wearing, you can't really see them because they're black, but I found these at Target. And then last but not least, my nail polish is OPI's Black Onyx. And that pretty much completes my panda look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this because I loved doing it since I'm obsessed with pandas. And I hope you all are having an amazing day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!